Dr. Rajendra Singh born the 6th of August 1959, is a well-known water conservationist and environmentalist from Alwar district, Rajasthan in India. Also known as Waterman of India, he won the Stockholm Water Prize. He runs an NGO called Tarun Bharat Sangh TBS, which was founded in 1975. The NGO based in village Hori Bikampura in Thanagazi Tessel, near Sarishka Tiger Reserve, has been instrumental in fighting the slow bureaucracy, mining lobby and has helped villagers take charge of water management in their semi-arid area as it lies close to Thar Desert, through the use of Johad, rainwater storage tanks, check dams and other time-tested as well as path-breaking techniques. Starting from a single village in 1985, over the years TBS helped build over 8,600 johads and other water conservation structures to collect rainwater for the dry seasons, has brought water back to over 1,000 villages and revived five rivers in Rajasthan, Arvari, Riparal, Sarsa, Bagani and Jahajwali. He is one of the members of the National Ganga River Basin Authority which was set up in 2009, by the Government of India as an empowered planning, financing, Monitoring and Coordinating Authority for the Ganges Ganga, in exercise of the powers conferred under the Environment Protection Act, 1986. In the UK he is a founder member of an NGO called the Flow Partnership which aims to counter the negative effects of soil erosion and flooding. <laughs> Early life and education Rajendra Singh was born at village Dala in Bagpat district in Uttar Pradesh near Meerut. He was the eldest of seven siblings. His father was an agriculturist and looked over their 60 acres of land in the village and where Singh did his early schooling. An important event in his life came in 1974, when still in high school, Ramesh Sharma, a member of Gandhi Peace Foundation visited their family home in Meerut. This opened up young Rajendra's mind, to issues of village improvement, as Sharma went about cleaning the village, opened a Vaknalaya library and even got involved in settling local conflicts. Soon he involved Rajendra in an alcoholism eradication program. Another important influence was an English language teacher in school, Pratap Singh, who started discussing politics and social issues with his students after class. At this time emergency was imposed in 1975, making him aware about the issues of democracy and formulate independent views. After finishing high school education, he enrolled for post-graduation in Hindi literature, at another college in Bharat, affiliated with Allahabad University. He became the leader of a local chapter of Chatra Yuva Sangarsh Vahini, a student activism organization founded by Jayaprakash Narayan Magsaysay Award, 1965, though after Jayaprakash fell ill, the internal power politics disillusioned him. Dr. Singh is a BAMS doctor by education. <laughs> Career After completing his studies, he joined government service in 1980, and started his career as a national service volunteer for education in Jaipur, from where he was appointed to oversee adult education schools in Daa district in Rajasthan. Meanwhile, he joined Tarun Bharat Sangha Young India Association or TBS, an organization formed by officer and students of Jaipur University to aid victims of a campus fire. Subsequently, after three years when he became the General Secretary of Organization, he questioned the organization, which had been dabbling with various issues, for its inadequacy in having a substantial impact. Finally in 1984 the entire board resigned leaving the organization to him. One of the first tasks he took up was working with a group of nomad blacksmiths, who though traveled from village to village had little support from anyone. This exposure inspired him to work closely with people. However back at work, he was feeling increasingly frustrated by the apathy of his superiors towards developmental issues and his own inability to have a larger impact, he left his job in 1984. He sold all his household goods for 23,000 rupees and took a bus ticket for the last stop, on boarded bus going into interior of Rajasthan, along with him were four friends from Tarun Bharat Sangha. The last stop turned out to be Kishori village in Thanagazi Tessel in Alwar district, and the day was 2 October 1985. After initial skepticism, the villagers of neighboring village Bikampura accepted him, and here they found a place to stay. Soon, he started a small Ayurvedic medicine practice in nearby village Gopalpura, while his colleagues went out about promoting education in the villages. 
Alwar district, which once had a grain market, was at the time largely dry and barren, as years of deforestation and mining had led to a dwindling water table, minimal rainfall followed by floods. Another reason was the slow abandoning of traditional water conservation techniques, like building check dams, or johad, instead villagers started relying on modern bore wells, which simply sucked the groundwater up. But consistent use meant that these bored wells had to be dug deeper and deeper within a few years, pushing underground water table further down each time, till they went dry in ecologically fragile Aravallis. At this point he met a village elder, Mangu Lal Mina, who argued, "...water was a bigger issue to address in rural Rajasthan than education." He chided him to work with his hands rather than behaving like, "...educated." City folks who came, studied and then went back, later encouraged him to work on a johad, earthen check dams, which have been traditionally used to store rainwater and recharge groundwater, a technique which had been abandoned in previous decades. As a result, the area had no groundwater since previous five years and was officially declared a dark zone. Though Rajendra wanted to learn the traditional techniques from local farmers about water conservation, his other city friends were reluctant to work manually and parted ways. Eventually with the help of a few local youths he started desilting the Gopalpara Johad, lying neglected after years of disuse. When the monsoon arrived that year, the Johad filled up and soon wells which had been dry for years had water. Villagers pitched in and in the next three years, it made it 15 feet deep. These facilitated a rise in the groundwater levels and helped turn the area into a white zone. So much so that the forest department invited the NGO to take an active part in the park's management. Tarun Ashram in Kishori Bikampura in Thanagazi Tessel bordering the Sarishka Sanctuary, became the headquarters of Tarun Bharat Sangha. He started on his first Padayatra walkathon through the villages of the area in 1986, educating to rebuild villages' old Czech dams. Yet their bigger success was yet to come, as inspired by the walkathon and success at Gopalpura, 20 kilometers away, in 1986, people of Banota Koliala village with through Shramdan voluntary labor and with the help of TBS volunteers, constructed a johad at the source of a dried Arvari river, following this villages that lay in its catchment area, and along it also built tiny earthen dams, with largest being a 244 meter long and 7 meter high concrete dam in the Aravalli Hills, eventually when the number of dams reached 375, the river started to flow again in 1990, after remaining dry for over 60 years. Yet the battle was far from over, even after constructing johads, the water level in the ponds and lakes around Sarishka didn't go up as expected, that it went they discovered that missing water got evaporated from mining pits left unfilled by the miners after their operations in the area. A legal battle ensued, they filed public interest petition in the Supreme Court, which in 1991 banned mining in the Aravallis. Then in May 1992, Ministry of Environment and Forests notification banned mining in the Aravalli Hill system altogether, and 470 mines operating within the Sarishka Sanctuary buffer area and periphery were closed. Gradually TBS built 115 earthen and concrete structures within the sanctuary and 600 other structures in the buffer and peripheral zones. The efforts soon paid off, by 1995 Aravri became a perennial river. The river was awarded the backquote International River Prize, and in March 2000, then-President, K. R. Narayanan visited the area to present the Down to Earth Joseph C. John Award to the villagers. In the coming years, rivers like Riparal, Sarsa, Bagani and Jahajwali were revived after remaining dry for decades. Abandoned villages in the areas got populated and farming activities could be resumed once again, in hundreds of drought-prone villages in neighboring districts of Jaipur, Daa, Sawai Madhapur, Bharatpur and Karauli, where work of TBS gradually spread. By 2001, TBS had spread over an area of 6,500 square kilometers, also including parts of Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat and Andhra Pradesh. It had built 4,500 earthen check dams, or johads, to collect rainwater in 850 villages in 11 districts of Rajasthan, and he was awarded the Magsaysay Award for community leadership in the same year. Reforestation has been taken up by numerous village communities, and Gram Sabha have been set up especially to look after community resources. A notable example is the Bhairandev Lok Vanyajiv Abhyaranya People's Sanctuary, spread over 12 square kilometers near Banota Koliala village at the head of Arvari. 
He has also been organizing Pani Pachayat or Water Parliament in distant villages in Rajasthan to make people aware of the traditional water conservation wisdom, the urgency of groundwater recharge for maintaining underground aquifers and advocating community control over natural resources. In 2005, he was awarded the Jamnalal Bajaj Award. He also played a pivotal role in stopping the controversial Loharanag Pala hydro power project over River Bhagarathi, the headstream of the Ganges River in 2006. Even as G. D. Agrawal, environmentalist from IIT Kanpur, went on a hunger strike. In 2009, he led a Pada Yatra, walkathon, a march of a group of environmentalists and NGOs, through Mumbai city along the endangered Mithi River. On January 2014, he did a parikrama along the banks of Godavari River, from Trimbakeshwar to Pathan to urge people to make the river pollution free. Recently he gave lecture on water and its conservation and values of water at Atomic Energy Regulatory Board, Mumbai. Topic awards and honors Ramon Magsaysay Award for Community Leadership in 2001 for his pioneering work in community-based efforts in water harvesting and water management. In 2005, he got Jamnalal Bajaj Award for Application of Science and Technology for Rural Development. In 2008, The Guardian named him amongst its list of 50 people who could save the planet. In 2015, he won the Stockholm Water Prize, an award known as the Nobel Prize for Water. In 2016, he was bestowed with a Himsa Award by Institute of Jainology based in UK.